part of being a professor is you want to be constantly reading everything, not only within your area, but within other areas. And you want to be aware of the problems in the world that industry is trying to solve. Because remember, my product is engineers that go work in industry. So I like to find projects, things that can help the planet, teach students, make them ready for industry. So in searching and looking at all those different puzzle pieces, that's where this idea of, hey, why don't we uh, figure out how to make offshore wind viable economically and also in terms of the energetics of the system. Because the earth is round, it means that you can put your ugly ass windmills way offshore so I don't have to look at them. Now, some people may think that's bad because the water gets deep, but that's actually also an opportunity. Because when the water is deep, that means that it's expensive to put that offshore wind turbine there. But on the other hand, it means you have a free source of how to store the energy. Because an offshore windmill has to be anchored moored to the bottom. So we make the mooring balls, the tubes, whatever you want to come up with as a structure, hollow. And because you've got all this water sitting on top of them, you put a pump turbine unit at the bottom. And now this becomes an upside down lake. This means that when you have extra power that is not needed on land, the pump pumps out the container on the bottom. And now the water up top is trying to get in. So when you open the valve, bloop, the water will flow back into the container, spinning the turbine, generating electricity. It's the exact same thing that has been done all around the world for decades, uh, pumped hydro systems, where you make a lake and the hydroelectric turbines at the bottom also function as pumps when you reverse them to pump the water back up in the lake to store the energy. So this uh, project we called Offshore Renewable Energy System, or ORES, ORES. We did a, the concept, some scale models, including detailed uh, consideration of costs. Published a very nice paper on it, got some very nice feedback. Looks very viable. Get the cost down. Okay, went back, did the type of analysis where we look and see where is the cost apply our fundamental engineering skills to it, and now have a next generation uh, system that we're mm, a few, few months from re releasing in terms of publish another paper, which we hope and think should get industry excited enough to say, yes, we're ready to do a pilot project. That's our goal.